Ooh, what was that? I love to see horizontal poi. There's not nearly enough of that out there. That's just the most awkward way of doing that. Hey there, what do we have here? Anti-brids, you'll love to see it. Hey there friends, Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I'm gonna to be checking out a viral poi video that has been making the rounds the past few weeks. Before we dive in though, I just wanna give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecca, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyrotera Light Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links down in the description of this video. And special thanks to the non-business friend of the channel, Becca Beckonen. Thank you so very much for supporting my channel, my work, and my mission. So it has been a long, long time since I've done a Reacts video. Um, I think it's been more than a year. And there is a video by a uh, European poi spinner by the name of uh, Boris Millet, Malay, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, that blew up on Instagram the past few weeks. I think it is over 200,000 views as I'm recording this. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do another one of these. His video is only a few seconds long, so this video will not be super long in and of itself, but hopefully there's still something that we all can get out of it. All right, so let's take a look at this video from Boris and see what he's got going here. Cool. That's a nice head swap. Oh, lovely. So I really like that toss that he was just doing there. If we go back for a second here. Um, so once he makes this catch here, this toss that he does where he is looping uh, the handle around one hand and uh, basically doing an isolated throw on the bottom. I remember seeing Mel do something similar in a video that he posted like a year ago to celebrate his birthday that likewise I just thought was a, a really, really brilliant move. Um, the way Boris is doing it, um, he's very specifically using his hand to steady the top poi, which is a smart move because the top poi was definitely the one that I had a hard time with as I was learning that toss from Mel. Cool, we got some meteor spinning. Nice toss. Ooh, that's such an interesting choice. If we back up here, after he does the toss, um, he's in a spot where the poi are coming down on bottom and together same. And he does a little thing over the top here. This is actually a really, really subtle move. His left hand is performing an extension while his right hand is basically doing a triquetra here. So this is a uh, polyrhythmic move and it means that the poi are both pointing down at the same time, but once we get to the top, one's pointed up while the other one's pointed down. It's interesting because so far, everything that he's done has been just in a single timing and direction here. Like if we look back, we're in split time, same direction for all intents and purposes, split opposites, split time, same direction. And now we're in a polyrhythmic place. So we're using a move where he cycles through multiple timing and direction modes there between uh, together, same and, uh, excuse me, it will be, yeah, together, same and then uh, split time opposites there at the top. It feels different in this performance simply because it is very much which of these things is not like the other in that regard. Oh, that was cool. This thing he's doing for just a hair of a second here is actually a cat eye versus, uh, versus pendulum, but it's being done in a hands together place instead of the anti-brid arrangement that it's usually done in. If you look at the movement of his hands right quick, they're both kind of tracing out a circle the size of an isolation here. And we've got his right hand performing uh, the cat eye, which is cool. Oh, nifty. So um, this kind of like right angle uh, stack that he's doing right here, this reminds me a lot of uh, a trick I remember seeing Ronan doing uh, about a decade ago in a performance he did for the British Juggling Convention. Um, he would take it uh, back and forth and uh, create right angles with each hand. Uh, I think Boris only does it on the one side here, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I am also just going to mention this right quick, but like th there is definitely the uh, the cliche about tech poi spinners kind of locking their legs in this like broad stance that we refer to as a tech tree. Boris's stance here is much more narrow, but it's kind of the same idea. It's very riveted in place. It's almost like 
he looked at people doing tech trees and was just like, hold my beer. Cool, so we got our writing. Ooh, what was that? So I think if I'm not mistaken, that toss that he's doing right there is passing between the other poi and the hand that it was once attached to. Let's see if I'm right here. Yep, yeah, right there. Right there it passes between them. That's so fast and subtle. I wouldn't have caught that if I were not thinking of what to look for there. There's a throw that goes over past his left arm, and as he catches the two poi, uh, this is almost like a line that you would use for like a, uh, uh, a stall chaser, but instead he's kind of turning it into a body tracer, taking the, uh, the lead poi back behind his shoulder. Oh, yes! Oh, what do we got there? We got some plane breaking. I love it. So, so we're going from split time, same direction, popping into together opposites and winding the tethers around his hand to shorten them up. And boom, when he goes out to the side, he's switching into a corkscrew there for just a second. Awesome. I think though, probably he's getting it from the same place that I did, which is uh, G, the uh, the British poi spinner, um, who was super active back in the late 2000s and who really put plane breaking on the map. But that's cool. You love to see plane breaking. I love to see horizontal poi. There's not nearly enough of that out there. Give me more. Okay, so he's finally moved. What? So he's finally like moving his feet and turning, which is good. I like poi spinners. Um, kind of exploring the space around them. But damn, isn't that like just the most awkward way of doing that turn? He's basically pivoting on his heel here, and that's a really weird way to do that step. I'm glad there's a turn in there, but like, that's just the most awkward way of doing that. Another toss between the hand and the handle. This one, th th this one is slower than the other one. It's easier to tell what's going on there. Hey there, what do we have here? I like this. Why do I like this? I don't know if this is his intention or not, but this is an anti-bread alignment right here. So we've got the alignment of one handle and one head. So a handle and a poi head going around like a butterfly. Um, but it's not the handles that are together. We've got one head that is together with a handle. Anti-brids, you love to see it. Cool. What? <laughs> What was that? That's a weird sort of like little conveyor belt that he's doing there with his contact work. Okay, that is the first thing I've seen in this video that I think I would have a, uh, a, a, a challenge doing myself. Wow. Okay, that's wild. And air wrap. Oh, and what a lovely little way to wrap things up. I like that. Okay, so some things I really liked about this. Um, number one, I'm always a fan of plane breaks and of using horizontal planes. That always makes me happy to see. And also, too, seeing the uh, the anti-brid uh, kind of throw there. Again, I, I am 90% sure that he did not mean for that to be an anti-brid, but um, I, I, I'd never see anti-brids done anymore, so I'm going to take it anyway. Really, the only thing I have to critique about that is just is just that turn, the, the step that he he's using there it's like there's that commitment to keeping his feet just like planted as close together as possible and it means that he's having to contort his feet in kind of a weird way to get around there so I don't know I would say maybe maybe a slightly smoother turn there would be something I'd really love to see but overall um, yeah I can see why this one became so popular and uh, definitely there is some stuff in there that I can imagine is going to inspire a lot of artists out there so Good job there, Boris. Nicely done. What did you think of Boris's video? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video. It would not have been possible without the wonderful support of all of my Patreon supporters. In particular, I would like to shout out my Flow patrons who are listed on screen right now. If you'd like to check out more of the videos that I have done reacting to other Flow artists' videos, I will include a link to a playlist of those videos down in the description. And if you'd like to support the channel, I will also include a link to my Patreon down in the description as well. Thanks so much. Make sure to get out and flow today yourselves, and I'll see you with a new video real soon. Take care now. Peace.